Fellow Nigerians, finally, this pastor, popularly known as Dr. Charles Apoki, don't finally react to waiting the go on currently now or inside River State. I beg if you come across this video, now I beg and I beg you. Make one not share this video, go where River State people day. Make one not allow them to see this video because me myself no say they will must reply this man because of one particular thing where this man talk for inside this video. If you come across this video, I beg. Help me to spread this video. Help me to share this video so that other Nigerians will see what I'm hearing. And I'll be back. So, I want to talk about what is happening in River State. I usually take my time. One of the things that has helped me in life was that at the age of 56, I went to read um, um, public administration and I made the best result in the class. I had 10 A's. And it has helped me with analysis of phenomena. I told you about Marco Cipolla's principle of stupidity. That stupid people are people who cause harm to society, cause damage to society without benefiting anything. And that reasonable people usually underestimate the capacity of damage that stupid people can cause. And then he talked about bandits. Bandits are people who, um, who rip from society but do not benefit any, that do not contribute anything. They, they take from society, they don't contribute anything. I will look at river states as a typical case of political idiocy and stupidity and banditry. Um, Longanasi said that when you have one idiot, you have one idiot. If you have two idiots, you have two idiots. If you have 10,000 idiots, you have a political party. He said idiots are not people who are not reasonable, that idiots are people who cause harm to society without caring. So you can see Marco Cipolla's theory of stupidity and uh, uh, Leo Longanesi's theory of idiocy. Now, um, in River State, there is a conflict between two political giants, in quotes. But now, before the local government elections, I saw people parading, this one is supporting this person, this group supporting this person. My question is, what would you benefit after that march? After marching around Port Harcourt, supporting uh, one person, so what does it pay your bills? Does it reduce the cost of petrol? Does it reduce the, your house rent? Most of those people parading. The people who gave them money to go and parade, their children are not in this country. The people who gave them money to go and parade, they have residences and permanent residences in uh, other countries. The people who gave them money to go and parade, they, they can easily fly overseas when there is crisis in the country. You can't touch their properties because they are heavily protected. Just to travel out of this country, I know how many documents I had to submit before traveling out of this country. I know how much the ticket is, even though I'm not the one buying. So you now find out that um, those people parading, they are stupid people. They, they, they just go, they don't benefit anything from it. You will eventually not benefit anything from it. You will buy gas you, uh, very expensively. You will buy... Uh, drinking water, I hear it's 50 naira per sachet now. You will you pay heavy school fees. Why, uh, why don't you put pressure on your leaders? River State gets a lot of money to provide good education, good healthcare services, 
good roads, security, electricity. River State can have its own energy company. You have a lot of gas being fled. You can provide electricity, 24 hours electricity for River State, and then industrialization will take place. So you are parading up and down. Ah, whoa, whoa, whoa. Asawana! No. The next thing is that after the elections into the local government, some people went, I don't know who sent them, to burn local government secretariats. Some of them very beautiful. I think it, they were built in Amechi's time also. Beautiful edifices that serve you. And you are stupid enough, idiotic enough to go and put fire in a monumental building that money was spent. The one in the Equiri local government area. I've seen it beautiful. The one at Emoha, beautiful. Now you burnt it down. You shot your fellow poor man, your fellow struggling Nigerian, your fellow oppressed Nigerian. Carry it gone. You are an idiot. You are a political idiot. You are suffering from political stupidity. Shoot your fellow poor man down, fellow reverse man down. Huh? While the people who sent you are uh, gallivanting in the corridors of power with security protecting them. Then some, a judge gave a court order to withdraw security men during election. That is a stupid judgment. That is an idiotic judgment. What is the role of the police? To maintain law and order. And so when you withdraw police, you are permitting anarchy. You are permitting anarchy. And that's one problem in this country now. Idiocy and stupidity. I will ask the judge that gave that judgment, what did you benefit? I will ask the commissioner of police that withdrew the men, what did you benefit? What did you benefit? You have been disobeying police, disobeys court orders in this country right from time immemorial. Why didn't you disobey this one that has led to chaos, death, and arson? The next thing is that the people who burnt those things, are they going to get richer or fatter? How much did they give you? 50,000? 100,000? then the contract will be awarded to my class, my elite class, to my, my class. The contract will be awarded to the rich and then the rich will make profit. What did you gain, Momo, by going to bond secretariat, by shooting people? Political banditry, people have made money from the system and they are not contributing anything to the system. Rather, they are contributing destruction to the system. Thank you for watching that video. So, guys, before you leave, look at the top here. You will see where the road subscribe. Just subscribe to this great platform and also put on Sean Bear so that whenever we upload any video in this great platform, you will be the first to see it. And don't forget to share this video to all social media platforms on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram, and also on YouTube, so that everyone out there will see this video. So guys, see you guys some other time.